Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If so, you can subscribe. The button is always down below. I post beauty lifestyle panning and more. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys um the first update in the pan those shadows. And I'm super excited. I've made great progress and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I just refreshed my pan those shadows for 2022. So they just start, restarted this project again last month. If you missed my intro, I'll link it link it down below. I would watch it before this video because I explain kind of like my rules and I go into like um how I'm going to be doing this project. Everyone's doing it differently. Um some people are going off spreadsheets, some people are doing it like by generating just random numbers and I just and it's just so interesting to watch everyone's. I love it. This project was created by Alexi. Link her down below. She kind of started this original project and then everyone kind of like does it in their own way and kind of has made the um their specific pan those shadows um their own through that but yeah enough rambling let's just get right into it so like i've said i've made great progress this month that i can't wait to share it with you guys and just a little refresher i have a 20 use goal for all shadows it's either 20 uses or hit pan some shadows since i will be having a focus palette are going to be like the goal might be to use it up but you know that'll kind of depend on what I feel or what I feel like doing and stuff I think for my focus palette I might say hit pan but I can always revisit a shadow at any time or even use it off camera like work on it and that kind of stuff but let's start off with a couple of these shadows in the Dominique Casa Zlatte palette which I I'm obsessed with so the shadow I'm going to start with my pick which my pick was um the caramel shade um i really wanted like a transition in this project and that's what mine is looking like i'll show you guys the before pictures as well um but that's what mine's looking like and stuff i feel like i've used it a lot but these shadows are so like super super firmly pressed so they're really hard to like hit pan on or even like i'm trying to get rid of the like emblem but i feel like that's even like deeply printed into the shadows um and stuff I feel like I'm like on the C on the caramel shade I feel like I'm like getting that a little gone but it's taking a while and I have used the caramel shade nine eleven times so I have so I have nine more you and I've used the caramel shade 11 times so I have nine more uses um to get which I feel like I can very much so get by the next update I think that shade will definitely be rolled out and stuff I don't know if I'll hit pan but I definitely think I'll be able to roll it out before I hit pan anyways but I made very steady progress in this month which I'm super excited about I'm just so happy about that and then the shade next to it I'm also panning this one was randomly generated and this is shade vanilla and that I have also used 11 times and that's what it looks like and of course I'll show you the before as well and it doesn't look like I've used it but I've used it a ton I actually really like those types of tones for like setting my eyelids which I do every day um even if I'm not like gonna use like an actual eye primer I will still use that because it gives a good base for shadows which I absolutely love and like I said, I've used that 11 times, so I have nine more uses for both these shades in this palette. And I definitely think that's doable by the next update. But, you know, I'm really doing well with, you know, this shadow, these shadows specifically. And I'm happy to have these in. Like, I'm really enjoying actually panning these. And then I have, like, lots of doubles from the palettes, um, which is kind of funny. But this is the Naked to palette and this is my focus palette for the year so one of the shades was just randomly generated and that's the shade ydk which is that one and i've made really good progress on i feel i feel like i've extended the pan and this one was randomly generated and this one so far i have used it six times so i have 14 more uses so it's going to be in maybe for like a month month and a month and a half two months so I think I could get this out possibly by, well, if I go by the 20 uses, I could probably get this out by like maybe next month or the month after. 
but I think I might keep this one in to use it up just because this is my focus palette so I'm trying to use up as much as palette as I can and I have four pans in this palette which is amazing but of course I want to continue working with this palette and seeing what I can get out and that one is really pretty on my eyes today I used a lot of the pan those shadows which has been my goal of like using these as of right now I don't have like a shop mustache so I don't have like actual palettes that I am working on along this so I'm mostly just focusing on these some days I will use like different shimmers to play with but for the most part I'm using my panel shadows so today I'm wearing YDK with one of the other shadows that I'm panning which I'll get to in just a second um but I'm doing pretty well with that like I said I have like 14 more uses and I feel like I could hit that by the next couple of months we'll kind of see I might repress a shade I haven't decided when I'm gonna do that I might leave it how it is for a month see how we do and then if I want to repress it I will it might be a good idea too because I'm getting to the point where around the edges I think one of my goals is going to be maybe to like um get some of those edges out so it's maybe around here it might be good to like work on corners because I've gotten that corner down but I'd like to get the but I'd like to get the other corner down this shade one of the shades in this palette keeps falling out it's really annoying then another one that i am panning is the shade half baked i panned this in other palettes which is funny but that's just your typical gold and that one i have used four times so i have 16 more uses i'm really trying to just hit pan on that for now i mean it's a really good basic gold which is nice but i have so many of those in my collection so as of right now, I think I just want to focus on hitting pan, working with it that way, and we'll kind of see where it goes. But I think I could have that one out by maybe like the next couple of updates. I'm not really sure about next month, but that one's been fun. And I like mixing that with YDK or mixing it with other shades. I think it's a really like fun shade to play with. It's very like, it's your average color, but it's also kind of fun. I don't know. And then the last two shades came out of a spreadsheet that Makeup with Lainey, if you guys follow her, that she started. So I decided in my project, if you watch my intro, that I would be using two of her prompts in my project. And the thing I have with the, these, and then my kind of rule around these is I'm not allowed to grab another one of her prompts until I use up these shadows specifically or not use them up but like I hit my goal which was either 20 uses or hit pan so that's kind of my goal around that so the first shade that I'm panning is the shade call me from Terra moons that's what it looks like that's what it's looking like right now and this one is for the prompt reminds me of winter and honestly I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel like I have a dip going. Like, not like a huge one, but I definitely can tell like it's starting to maybe dip, I guess. It's so hard to tell. On top of YDK, I put this shadow over it to kind of add like a purpley iridescent kind of look over that shadow. And I actually think it's really pretty. Like, I really love how it looks and stuff. And that's how I've been using this. Or I'll also use it as an inner corner color, which I did today mixed in with something else that's in a project pan and so this shadow i've used seven times and so i just have 13 more uses i think i could get this out within the next couple months i honestly think i could probably hit pan on this i feel like it's possible i feel like it could happen and stuff but i'm really excited to be panning some of my indie shadows it's so fun and i do really like this color and then the other shade that I'm panning is for the Prompt Indie Shadow. And this one is from Sydney Grace and it's called Red Chameleon. That's what it looks like. Unfortunately, I have only used this one time. So I have 19 more uses left for this one and stuff. I liked this when I used it, but it's definitely an interesting shade and stuff. I just haven't used it too much. I want to try and use it a little bit more in these in this next month. Um, I think I might set like a new, like set a monthly goal of maybe five uses in the next one. I don't think I'll get this out like super quickly and stuff, but I think I want to get this out by maybe like March. And stuff i think i want to make that like somewhat a goal so which march the march update the technically i mean like the end of march early april when i say that because i don't think i'll get it out within a month that's just not gonna happen but 
honestly there's like no progress i mean i used it one time so there's not going to be much but that's what it's looking like and i'm happy with any progress on any shows and of course this month i don't have any like rollouts roll-ins nothing is rolling in so things are gonna just stay as they are which is totally fine for the first month i still want to share like an update with you guys and and stuff and i obviously if i have nothing exciting to say i probably won't film an update but um i know the next month is going to be a lot more exciting i think i'll have some rollouts i believe i will I think I can roll out the shades that are in the Dominique Cosmetics palette, which I already mentioned. I definitely think those are roll out, roll out which is exciting because then I'll get to pick a shadow, then I'll get to randomly generate a shadow and stuff. And I think the next month I could possibly get out one of the indie shadows. Um, the way I'm using one of them, I could probably get there. We'll kind of see. Um, but I'm really excited for like my next month and stuff and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my pan those shadows update um please subscribe if you haven't already i have so much coming i still have to do my 2021 favorites i just have been super busy so i haven't had really much time to sit down and like think about things i was loving but even though it's february i'm still gonna do that just wanted to mention that in this video but yeah be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we're almost to 500 subscribers which is insane to me I can't wait. Um, let me know how you're doing with your projects and that kind of stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.